we're back with another video. You guys just saw us drop off all those packages. Thank you everybody for all your orders, all your online support. Don't forget to check out our website. It's just thesneaksity.com. <laughs> I think we shipped out 67 packages today. So we're very blessed for all of you guys for ordering from us. Thank you so much. Anyway, today we're gonna show you a couple of the resale shops out here in Seattle. We are about a block away from Lucky Dog. On the Ave, they have two locations. This is their main one, it's their bigger one. They've been around for a while, I think like five or six years now. So they are OGs in the city. <laughs> Let's go check them out and see what they got. Hi Squish. This is Squish. This is their shop dog. Pin collar. That's awesome. Alright guys, we are inside of Lucky Dog. They do a lot more variety here. They do a lot of vintage. They've got like jerseys. They've got outerwear like Patagonia, Tons of North fire. Face. They've got a lot of Pendleton in right now. A lot right of now. Seattle Sonic stuff up there too. Definitely a lot of team stuff. They also do shoes. They've got lots of Yeezys, um, lots of GRs. And then in the back of their store is actually like their higher end, their hype items. So let's go look back there together. Yeah, let's go check it out. So they got these Fossil Jordan 4s. I've been after these for a long time in my size. These are an eight and a half, which is like a seven men. So they're probably gonna be kind of tight. So I'm pretty bummed, but this is another pair that I'm after. So clean. Travis vibes a little bit. Yeah, woman's exclusive. A little bit worn for us as well. Yeah. So small. Tight. Yeah. Super tight. <sighs> so they have their dunk wall. Caught my eye right off the bat. The Atmos SB Dunk. Love these guys. We got some Michigan Dunk Highs down here. We got some Samba. These ones are pretty crazy. Personally, I'm not a fan of Dunk Highs, but the stained glass concept dunks, these are pretty cool to look at. And then a couple off-white ones. Dunk on them. What's up guys? We are here with Jordan, co-owner, founder of Lucky Dog Clothing. He's going to take us around, show us a little bit, show us his heavy hitters, what's kind of been here for a little bit, what does well for them, what kind of doesn't do the best. Welcome. Let me show you around the shop a little bit. First of all, got to introduce you to my man Squish. So yes. This is our mascot, English Bulldog. So he loves to play with customers. If you come in, chances are he'll be in here. <laughs> you can get to know him a little bit, bring him a treat. Bring him a treat. Treats are a must. Yep. He'll follow you around if you bring him a treat. Starting in the back, we have a little bit of Nike SB and skateboarding stuff over here. Mostly, you know, some Hype Tees, Supreme, and Babe. When you get over here, you get kind of into some of the heavy hitters. Like Tia was saying, we got, got some more of the Off-Whites, Travis Scott. Kind of more rare, limited stuff that, you know, you want to put it in the case because you don't want somebody coming in after they're eating some pizza. And, What's your dollar amount that you put in here? Like, is there a certain... 500 above or yeah probably it, at least probably usually 500 above or you know usually if it's dead it's stock new, yeah. i try to stick it in there yeah we get at our store we get a lot of people just like even like homeless people come in and they'll just like touch every single shoe we only like we have a smaller case so we don't keep everything in there so it's like so cringy when some people are just like touching certain shoes yeah sometimes you know and you want to definitely be nice to everybody and treat everybody right, right i right never now. say but anything but it's like it's, ah you know deep awesome down you, you're like Ugh. plus the feeling of like Buying a shoe from the case is awesome. Like when you save up enough money, you're ready to spend the big bucks. Like you don't want something that somebody else has like already tried on a bunch of times. So it's special when somebody buys a shoe out of the case. Yeah, this stuff all looks feeling. super crispy. We got some more Supreme and Babe accessories. We got some designer stuff in here. We do a little bit of everything. Bag. We have a little off-white mirror section with the wet grass rug if you want to take a selfie. I've seen many, many photos taken here on this little setup right here. And then we have a. Uh, First thing we wanted to do when we opened up the shop was install this basketball hoop. So and the, the stipulation was that it had to be had to be adjustable. So the idea was you could slowly, you know, increase your balance over time to where you could dunk on a 10 feet. But I don't know if that's that's possible yet for me. Fun because customers can shoot around and uh, they can throw down a dunk. So it's it's a fun thing to have in the shop. Yeah, are we gonna see a dunk? Maybe, maybe after, maybe after. I mean, I'm down to throw down one. But Squish goes crazy when the basketball comes out. I he was like running over here, like, and dunked on it, and he was right after me. I was like, oh, Squish. He like uh, defends his home court. Oh, I bet. So I would say this is more of like the hype section back here. Another special thing we have is hype lounge up there. So you might see up there there's some kind of more rare stuff. So 
if you're uh, if you're in here and you've spent heavily, or if you have a celebrity come in here, you can have a little hangout up there. I'm gonna take some pictures of you, get to hang out and see all the different stuff we have in the collection up there. All right, so this is this is our our merch right here. So. All of it is based around Squish. You can see we've got the Smokey the Bear inspired. We call that the forest collection. And obviously Squish looks pretty good as a forest ranger. This is our main shoe wall. So most of the shoes out here are either new or lightly used. We try to just get as much good stuff in here as we can, be selective so we can get some really good prices for people. So we, do, we also do, we specialize in vintage. You see some of our best vintage pieces up there. You might want to take a look at those. These are kind of some more accessible vintage pieces in here. You have, of course, sports stuff. On a daily basis, you could find something cool sports-wise in here. Or if you're stick, strictly sticking to Seattle sports, you might want to stick to the Seattle sports rack. We got the Yeezy wall over here. Try to keep a fresh selection of Yeezys. And I'm a big fan of Yeezy. They're pretty comfortable. I, I, I like to feature them in the shop. Um, I have a couple pairs myself. I would say I'm still Nike gang though, for sure. And I think a lot of people's favorite shoe is probably the Jordan 1. So, you know, you gotta keep a couple of those in the rotation. You know you can get them here. We always try to keep this thing full of Jordan 1. What do we got in this back corner over here, guys? My favorite section. <laughs> and over here, you got the Impulse snack buys. So you got every type of soda you can imagine. You got water, we got chips. My personal favorites for lunch, I like to grab myself some Funyuns and some Sour Bright Llamas. So these are delicious in a pinch. Those would be gone if those were in gone. our shop. I, we'd we be like garbage. Have a snack <laughs> in our store. All right, Jordan, thank you so much for having us. We appreciate it. It's awesome to come by. We do try to come by when we can. I've been knowing you guys for years. I mean, yeah. some of you might not know that she has been coming in the store for probably since we had our Greenwood, since barely after we opened our Greenwood yeah, location. Like five so. or six years. I used to go in there, sell them stuff when I like just started reselling. I used to try to go sell them Supreme clothes, shoes here and there. But yeah, I've known. We've known each other for a long time, so awesome. it's awesome to see both of us grow. Yeah, I have to say it's been awesome to see you guys <laughs> grow. Your YouTube channel and everything y'all are doing is just you, awesome. It's hard work it. pays off, it shows. So. Come check out Lucky Dog, guys. This place is fire. Two locations, they are in uh, University District right by UW, and then they do have one over in Greenwood, kind of uh, like Ballard area. Greenwood and 82nd, called Lucky Dog Clothing. This is Lucky Dog on the Avs, right by UW. Make sure to check us out on Instagram and YouTube too. All right guys, so that was Lucky Dog. We are starving, so we're gonna go find somewhere around here to eat, and then we'll go to shop number two. We are at Dambo in Seattle. Whenever we get free time, Thank this you. is the spot that we come to to eat. Um, they have Japanese ramen, gyozas. We get ours extra spicy because I love spicy food. She gets hers kind of spicy. Yeah, mine's spicier than yours. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to dig in right now. What? Oh, there's so many. All right, guys, we are outside Soulmates. Um, they are located on Capitol Hill in Seattle. They have probably the craziest store out here. They um, have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pairs in there. A lot, a lot of, of good high stuff, end heat a lot too, of high yeah. end stuff. Um, I'm excited to see. We haven't been here in a while just because we're pretty busy as yeah, it is. It's been a long um, time. So we're excited to go in. Let's go meet Paris and the rest of the crew, guys. Do it. Oh, yeah, it's Oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, for sure. Do you have a That's seven and a half. That's eight. I just called myself One Take Jake because he was recording me while I opened the drawer. I said, I'm telling you, one time, I got this. All right, guys, like I said, we are here with Paris, the owner of Soulmates here in Capitol Hill, Seattle. Yes. Keep this shirt yeah. up. <laughs> nice. Tom I'm glad you guys vibes. Like that. Love it. I, love I got that. you. Don't trip. Right. <laughs> got your size. Don't worry about it. Yeah, well, I grew up in an area. I'm from Seattle. I actually grew up on 20th and Union. The business, the location is on top of a QFC on Pike and Broadway, but the cross street is Broadway and Union. It's yeah. one way in and one way out yeah. on the top level. I know, level. we even came into the exit That's place. Oh, we gotta go around. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's a dream to be, to own a business in the city that I grew up in. When That's did just you insane. open this location? In 2018, September wow. 14th. So it's going on three years. It's like, pretty good. I mean, I love it. I love it. I, I. It's what you love to do. You get to be here all day. Yes. You get to talk with people, meet new people, freaking right. around sneakers all day. It's awesome. Man, it's no days off. No you days know, even you on my day off, I'm, yeah. I'm working, you know? Yeah, when you crawl Definitely. in bed, you're probably still replying to messages. <laughs> right, so, yeah. right. But yeah, yeah, we just wanted to come around, um, give a little bit more exposure to our local Seattle shops, um, okay. talk to you guys. 
show our viewers like I know a lot of people like plan to come out here to Seattle come see our shop um, I want you guys to all check out all the sneaker shops in Seattle everybody's awesome this place low-key probably has more heat than we do <laughs> so, no 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 out. let's talk let's talk let's talk about the storage units like come on <laughs> you guys the storage unit is close is crazier than my own personal collection my store everything what do you got on feet today Man, I got some guavas. Some guavas. Yeah, I, I got some guavas. I had to Matches pull them out. Perfectly with you. Man, you know what's crazy? I actually made this shirt like a year ago and just never pulled them out. I totally forgot about them. Man, I, I gotta ask you guys a question. What's your favorite shoe in your collection? These are crazy. Ooh. I love them. We just got these. Kia hates them. I love them. I've got the CPF <laughs> I love them. Those are crazy. Those are corny as hell. They're comfy. They're. I love how like out there they are with the right. extra and the. Right. I like the smiley face with. Die, like, come on. Is that your favorite? No. What's um, your favorite? My favorite is Reverse Shadow Backboard by far. 100%. Okay. Okay. Mine Jordan is one? probably the OG huh? Presto as far as like that I wear. Straight no. hype. Mm. Seriously, it's comfortable. I can wear it with anything because it's neutral colors. Right. Um, but as far as like the Jordan 1 colorway, probably the Royals. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just had I just had those on yesterday, the OG versus those. So like, yeah. yeah. They're mad comfy. Too. Uh, <laughs> you know, I gotta try to keep up with uh, Sup Sup Fed and Sneak City. You know, I I gotta try to keep up with you guys. I'm gonna start with the very sneaker that I have that came from Sneak City. Yeah, yeah. We did a trade. She gave me some love. I even um, I think I did a trade. She gave me very good prices for my shoes, and then I think it was like I was like a hundred dollars short, and she just didn't even charge me. So. Appreciate that. This is my shoes, my personal. Don't try to buy it, because it's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, but something I, I like more than anything, is, as you can see, Carl's figures. We don't have a room. We don't have enough room to put all of our Carl's figures. As you see, we have some still in the box. We have some back here that's still in a box wrapped in plastic. Um, you know, some in the back. This is like something you'll probably never see. This is a Supreme Daikayama um, backpack set. So this backpack, and it's called a duffel and a shoulder strap, but both of them are like basically small or funny shaped uh, waist bags. Um, these dropped in 2008 for the 10 year anniversary. They opened a store, a, a Supreme store in Daikayama, Tokyo. And so what they did was they did a collaboration. Those dropped. Uh, Supreme dropped those. I think it was only a hundred pieces worldwide and they only dropped in the Daikayama store and, and please pardon the ashy hands You know as you can see in the in, in her YouTube videos She's always squirting the, the hand sanitizer and you know what I mean? So my uh Looks like I'm two different colors, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah Sun is going down it's getting dark we are at our last spot we are at drip tea um, they do bubble tea I know some places call it boba but we here call it We're bubble get tea. a little sweet treat right now and then across the road they opened up what's called drip tea market so they sell streetwear they sell chrome hearts it's a secret shoes. market you got to go inside drip tea order your know. dessert say your secret password and then they'll let you up, let you up the, upstairs yeah. let's go get our boba in the secret, secret, secret <laughs> drip tea market. We are here with Paul and Kenja. They're gonna give us a little rundown on the shop. Uh, how long have you guys been here? The market has been open for, I'd say, about three months now. Nice. How's it going? It's going good, it's going healthy. Healthy, healthy, that's yeah. what we like to hear. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's do a little tour. Let's show us around, show us where all the heat is. Yeah, yeah. This is our buying counter where all the magic happens, where we count the money. The gold money counter. Gold money counter, gold scale. All things that need to be weighed are weighed there. <laughs> yeah. This is our Pokemon display. So we just started bringing in uh, not only Pokemon, but also basketball cards. So just all around trading cards. Uh, so that's been fun. It's new for us, but we're getting into it. The market is crazy hot for that. Right, yeah, honestly. For you guys for jumping on that. There's a lot of cross interaction there. Like everybody we know who's into uh, sneakers is also into cards. So it's, it's been good. Uh, this is our new Valentine's display. Just. You know, a nice little heart and red theme. Everything on this is for sale, but not the book. The book was a Christmas present from our friend Oliver. How much Aldrich. is the little guy? 
Uh, that'd be a question to ask Justin, who's not here today. But How he much do you think this for? He, he sung them as a set. I don't know, a couple hundred? For the little one? Oh, no, well, for it's both. A it's a set. You know, oh, yeah. the... And the box fits both of them. Gotcha. Little guys, yeah. Uh, we just got a new arcade machine in. We're taking bets on if you can beat me and Kenjay. We're not very good, so... <laughs> so you, you'll probably win. <laughs> you'll probably win some money, yeah. Eye. This is our shoe wall. Ordered by a, size. You guys have a lot more than last time we came in. Yeah. Um, we love to see it. Every time you guys come in, we always get new shoes in. Women's shoes up here gets bigger the more you go down. These are bare brick, holding bare bricks, wearing bare bricks. Chromart's hat, these do really well for us. Off-white forces. Vape clock with no batteries, just for display. <laughs> well, how's you guys' Chromart's moving? Oh, too quick. We need to get more. It's been, got, it's been uh, rough getting stuff shipped from Asia, but yeah. we're getting it done. More's coming, more's on the way, jewelry too. Just real quick, this is a crazy piece I always love to talk about. I've talked about the cotton candy print for the vape jackets being one of my favorites. They've got the puffer, and they also have the zip up. <gasps> Fire right here, guys. Kenja, he's the other owner here. What's up? There's, it's three of you guys? Yes. Technically? Yeah, okay. so the only one missing is Justin. You can catch him on our channel all the time. He's one of the main characters there, but it's his day off today. So just him and me manning the shop, so. Hmm. Justin, you slacker. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> slacker, where you at? He's been working hard. He's tired. <laughs> he's out buying he's Pokemon. Is. He's actually <laughs> probably not even resting. He's probably out buying Pokemon. He's shot me messages like, are these good to buy? I'm like, no. So this is like Babe, Girls Don't Cry, um, more of like the In the House of Nigo brands. Okay. And then this is like miscellaneous Japanese designer. Got like Helmet Lang, Stone Island. Um, some cool vintage in here, like independent. Oh yeah. So um, what made you guys want to tailor towards like oh, Japanese just, brands versus like the ones you see in stores like Antisocial and you always see mm -hmm. Palace and you always see Vape, yes, but you guys have some like Vape that you don't see everywhere. What yeah. made you guys want to tap into that market versus what everybody else is doing? Him and I were almost doing the same thing even before we linked up. Mm -hmm. So he actually lived in Japan and so he has a lot of connections out there and he can get a lot of, he can source a lot of brands like Girls Don't Cry and Babe. Definitely. And then me, I'm more of like the eccentric brands like Isamiyaki, Undercover, Capital. Uh, I was selling that kind of stuff even before we opened up Drip Tea, the cafe. That's awesome. So just it's just stuff him and I can get, you know, no one else mm -hmm. has really hit that market here Definitely. and it's been selling, so. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. As long as people that are coming in know about it and know that you guys have it, it'll mm -hmm. always go for you. And if they don't know about it, we're always down to teach them. Yeah. I noticed in our store, like, clothes really don't do that well. People don't come into Sneak City and be like, oh, what clothing you guys have? They come for our shoes. Do you guys find that your clothing moves better than your sneakers, or is it a little bit of everything? Uh, I think we definitely have more clothing sales here than we yeah. do shoes. Yeah, for sure. Just because of the, um, the variety of the clothes that we offer. Certain brands do it really, really well for mm -hmm. us. And uh, if they happen to grab a shoe on the way out, like, that's good and fine and everything. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Definitely I'd say it's like 70-30. Nice. 70 clothes, 30 shoes. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, Belle, I think shoes always, there's always a marketplace for shoes. We have a good selection, but again, like our, our clothes is really what drags people in. Mm -hmm. I feel like just the diversity in brands is what, yeah, the diversity in brands is really what I feel like people come here to see for the most part. That's what happens when a customer comes in from the cafe. We always sanitize their hands. They get to look around. All right, guys, if you are in the area, make sure to come check out Drip Tea Market. Thank you, Paul and Kenjay, for letting us check it out. Our seventh YouTube video is uploading right now. So if you guys want to go check that out, please do. Um, Shouts out to them for always showing love and stopping by. Good friends of ours, and we're always happy to see them. Always. Thank you guys. We'll yeah, see thank you, you guys so much. All right, guys, we are back in our humble abode here at Sneak <laughs> City. Um, we did our rounds. We went through three different shops out here in Seattle. Lucky Dog, thank you Soulmates, and thank you Drip Tea for having us. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing the other shops in the area. And like we said, if you guys are visiting Seattle or if you're from here and have never heard of these, please go check everybody out. We really want to just put our community on and other shops that we have um, they all have their own great features. But alright guys, that is going to be it for this episode. If you guys are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Drop us a comment. Drop us a like. Um, we'll see you guys back in this shop probably tomorrow. But for now, we are out. We out.